Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Evan. So we've played a lot of games. Yes. But have we ever played a game that plays us? No. <laughs> Evidently, in Stanley Parable, it's just a, a mind trip. And the main thing I know about this game is that you shouldn't see any spoilers. You shouldn't know anything about it before you went into it. And thankfully, somehow, we, we did it. We avoided that. Yeah. And it's finally time for us to play. You ready? I'm so excited, yes. All right, let's do it. Okay. We oh, interesting that they ask you. Well, because this is the re-release. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know how it, this will affect things, but mm -hmm. we have not. Until the computer is barely visible. Okay. What was the chair there for? I don't, I don't know. All oh, right. current time, 2.54 p.m.? Right. If, we, if we tell them this, will they hack our computer? I don't know. Are we going to get hacked? Wait. Oh. <laughs> p.m. Okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. Oh, it's 55. Oh, yeah. Got to be accurate. <laughs> Very satisfying click noises. I know, mm -hmm. very, very good. Very click. satisfying. Oh, look, it's, 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 it's oh. recursive. Oh, oh, it is. Ah. It's a game within the game within a game. The end, end is, is never, never the, the end, end is, is never, never the end, end is never, never the end. It's loading. <laughs> <laughs> this is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Pretty easy. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one Sounds day, nice. something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never Stanley. quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single Posture. order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Is it a Saturday? Something was very clearly <laughs> wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. You know what's really interesting? I love that the subtitles don't don't go all the way wide. Usually they don't. Yeah, so like we, we're not blocking them. Oh, oh that, that's, we're out, that's us. I think that normally the subtitles stay in the middle. Oh, okay. Sometimes they're a little bit wider. I, I was trying yeah. to lean to get out of the way. Does this just make you think of like the office jobs we used to have? A little bit. <laughs> like the chipped desk and everything like that? Yeah. Well, this is weird. I right click and I move forward? I've oh. never had right click before. That's almost before. like a VR almost. Hello? So can you WASD? Yeah, you can WASD okay. also. Hello? Where'd everyone go? I need my friends. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? I'm getting Stanley kind of... decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I'm getting a little bit of like backrooms vibes. Yeah. Where's, excuse me, where is everybody? Where is the office? Please? Wait, are the number? Okay, so the numbers are going down. Hello, everybody? We're looking for a meeting room. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Do we listen? Or are well, you going to be a chaos boy? Chaos boy. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. 
Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> and the employee and lounge. Here's the, boy. Here's the lounge. <sighs> yes, ah. truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Yes. Wow. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Man, Stanley. Drinking it. Oh, that's a good idea. That was a clue. Yes. Really, really worth it being here <laughs> in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Yeah, how do you know? Really worth it. How do you know? <laughs> This is interesting. I'm left clicking and it sounds like I'm At typing. At this point, oh, Stanley's right. obsession with this room bordered on creepy <laughs> and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Ah! It's possible that this is why everyone left. Burn! <laughs> Burn! I wonder, like, how long can you stay here? And how much is he, like, <laughs> increasingly up? Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he oh. decided that the game was trying to send him a message. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what I was saying is, when I left click, it sounds like I'm typing at a keyboard, right? It does, Listen. yeah. It does. Very interesting. We, you just unlock two achievements. You can't jump and get your first achievement. Can you jump? No. You can't jump. Okay, I'll, I'll keep on going. Ah. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing <laughs> room. And we took the first open out. door on his left to get back to business. Oh, so do you think I should, do you think I should just keep on going instead? Whatever you want, baby. I want to be a chaos just boy. Check it out. <laughs> Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. It will cause death. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Why is that room so dark? I, I, I'm out of chaos options! Oh no! <laughs> That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach Back. out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Should I do it? Yeah. Port. <gasps> We're back. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying Burn. to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Nobody come inside. You. Let me show you what's really going on here. You stay back. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. That's, that's us, is it? Press Good morning, J. employee. Press J on your key. T, G, B, H, N, 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 J. Stanley <laughs> is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. I guess this is our apartment. Press G. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly <laughs> no, what he's told to do. Chaos, now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. R. 
but in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From hey, behind his doing? desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. P to watch TV. What if I press T? Well, I've seen so many playthroughs of this, and, and I've so never he began seen to this. Fantasize about what? his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. Is this just an imagination? Excited him terribly. We made this happen. It's like home alone. Press R. Oh, how have I no memory of this? And this is the first thing you do. R. Never seen this so too. He Whoa. went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Uh, we're preparing dinner? As he wandered through Whoa. this fantasy Whoa. world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Whoa. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Tell your kids a story? It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again and then again and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Tell your wife you love her. Love but you. there is no answer. I love you. How could there possibly whoa, be? Whoa. In reality, Back the all he's doing is pushing the same it's buttons he always the, has. Our office Nothing again. has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Oh. Go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. I you did see? It. <laughs> can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains <gasps> here is electing to kill himself? We're back here. How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? <gasps> that was crazy. To question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. We're back to the I beginning. Must. Yeah. Perhaps. Well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Please die. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Wait, did we already find an ending to the game? Did we? What? What? I made him mad. I made the narrator mad. So is this like a multiple All of his ending? All co-workers were gone. <gasps> what they could it starting mean? over. Oh. Stanley decided to go to You're the too meeting. Too much room. of a chaos, Perhaps boy. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Congrats on your first ending. Oh, what? That, the did end I, did is I never the end, you guys. Did I run an end? <laughs> did I speed run? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, so there two he choices. entered the door on his left. There were two choices. Where yeah, you I went right. I'll go to the left this time. Is that a fart? Yeah, it's a farty door. Okay, meeting room. Tips for not getting fired. Yet there was not Talk a less. single person here either. <laughs> Feeling a wave Don't get of fired. disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> How to solve a dispute with a coworker? Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passive aggressively on other coworkers. Resent coworkers. <laughs> Using slides to assure employees that everything's okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel on all the text. This will ensure a calm and productive work environment. 
Everyone is unique. You most of all. <laughs> I just love this. Uh, to do synergize. Synergize core, core values, values. Expenditures. Shift global market. Paradigm. Market, paradigm. Monetize, monetize free, free to, to play. play. Number of slides. Charts. Slides. Charts and slides. <laughs> Create it with charts on the same slide to pick the same information. <laughs> There's so many hidden things. I know. What do people want? Things, money, more money, things, but with money to buy more things? Graphs, graphs about things and money. We have our new product. Violet James, are you are fired. The stock market is somewhere here. Colored in segment, stripes. <laughs> Requires more research. <laughs> what is hot? Buy quarterly post review review. We need more reviews. <laughs> I think that's more, less reviews. 402 plus 405 want to get rid of their death sport portion. Wait, death sport? Oh my gosh, so many things. Mergers. Weekly review, weekly review. Pranking floor five meeting. Office party. Wait, is it today? Is it an office party today? We don't know what day it is. I don't know, yeah. Might be the office party. Future was yesterday, tomorrow is now. Get Chris out of the broom closet. <laughs> Hire someone to synergize papers. Papers are too synergized. Fire paper guy. <laughs> Hire someone to fire the guy, the paper synergy guy. Who moved my desk? <laughs> Please keep targets on the topic of blank. Oh my gosh. There's just, there's there's so, just many so many good things. Broom closet. Oh. oh. We need to get Gary out Stanley of here. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Yeah, can we take anything? Give me that broom, give me that tool. Uh, there was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No Why reason can't I to jump? still be here. Why can't I jump? I need to sweep. Yeah, let me sweep. Let me sweep. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the Can you close closet. the door on yourself? He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> I love making the narrator mad. Are you, are you really still in the balloon closet? <laughs> standing around doing nothing? Why? To mess Please offer me some explanation and I'm, I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> stay in there. Everyone's saying stay in there. I need a, I need you my, do my there's no wrench. choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. I'm stuck in the broom closet. Okay. I'm, I'm trapped. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Yes. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Ow! Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> broom the closet broom ending. closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. <laughs> Bad or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> Did you get the broom closet? And the broom closet is my favorite. Well, I've come I'll to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Oh. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical Wait. malady of some sort Wait, shut leave. down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation mm -hmm. like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. So the narrator's not human. Their corpse yeah. from the area 
and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person <laughs> video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game <laughs> is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. How long can we push this? I don't know, well, until he like, stops talking. Yeah, like, but like, ah, what's, what's, what? I, well, you said step out. I wonder if it's different now. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before wait, you. Wait, oh my what gosh. if I do this? What if I do this? <laughs> you too. <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Chaos, Perhaps there's a chaos. monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Oh my gosh, there's a special ending that's really hard to get that involves letting the game run for a year doing nothing. Oh my gosh. That would be really hard to get. What if we did a live stream of that? For a year. For a year. Just like an alt <clears throat> channel. Yeah, like we made like Evan and Caitlin waste energy for a year. <laughs> yeah, for real. Okay. Can I can I get can I get one more narrative? Yeah. No. I think I think I think done. I think we've 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 fully worn out this narrator. Uh. Ooh, up or down. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, it's red down here. It's evil. <laughs> but Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers what blinking mysteriously for? out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? That's a good point. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? <gasps> and for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Back. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. <gasps> this can't be real. It's repeating. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. What? His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying Whee. and began to gently float above the ground. Then oh. he imagined himself now? soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too <gasps> appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. Whoa. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Hmm? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, what if that gate this will was be not open? a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. I feel like After that has all, to be a code. He knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. 
Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Mm. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, <laughs> it's all I want. Simple needs. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Sounds like I a meditation. Am okay. Nope, we're still here. <laughs> Stanley began screaming. <laughs> Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Oh. Whoa. <clears throat> This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Whoa. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. What? She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. What? But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled family? through town talking and screaming yeah. to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. <laughs> this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. <laughs> normal I boring. Am sane. I am in control of my Sounds mind. Sounds familiar. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned around. <laughs> Is that well, another ending? I think it's another ending. Oh my gosh. Ooh, Stanley. Are we going to be killed every time we diverge from the narrator? All of his co workers. Two out gone. of 100. What could it mean? <gasps> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I wonder what happens if I go the right path. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. And then I'll go back. I'll wow. go back to, to yes. the path. Mm. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley oh, yeah. took the first open door we'll on his left. We'll try this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we yeah. haven't done this one yet. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, Ew. walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Come on, push the Come button. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how could I not? It was lit okay, up. boy. It was it's a big up. red button. It's a big red button. Yeah. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, <laughs> from here, it's, um, left. Whoa, look, all the doors were, were closed and then this one opened. Oh, no, no, ah. it's to the right, my mistake. Oh. Uh. No, 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 not I don't the like right. this voice. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, <laughs> left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Oh, do you want to do it? Yeah. What if it runs forward and hits us? I know, that's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Who's doing it? I mean, this. Oh! Oh! No! 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 This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay. 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 We just. We just. Fired. Back to um. Oh. Look at that one straight ahead. It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely it unusable. Was... 427. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from oh, the beginning. Oh, spoiler! This time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, okay. ours looks normal, from but what about top. 234? 234. That one had, like, glitchy on it. Oh. 234. We need to find 234. All of his oh. coworkers were gone. Ooh, what we got a, we got a hint Stan had at decided the future. To go to the meeting mm -hmm. room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh man, you guys, this is crazy. Oh. And to those asking, this is our first whoa, time. Whoa, whoa. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? This is new. No I, <gasps> no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be. Oh, did something change? <gasps> Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room Stanley. with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or. <gasps> Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. This okay. narrator's great. It's an adventure. Oh. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Oh, I'm gonna jump. You can't jump, baby. Whoa, look at this. Look at that. You see? Look through here. Uh -huh. Memorize that. Is it not the same room? Oh, it it's is. It's the same room. <laughs> it's the same room. This reminds me of back rooms. This is so back rooms. Oh. 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 I'll Where? say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But oh, it's no. going to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? <laughs> the end is never the end is never the end. Oh my gosh. All Her of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps oh he had simply missed a memo. My gosh, like how it's crazy that there's a hundred different ways to play this game. Whoa! Okay, uh, yep, it's worse. No doors. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Wow. Oh, open door. Oh, that's just the hallway. Did we miss anything? Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The oh. story. I thought that plant was a person. Oh my God. No, wait, never mind. Ah. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Whoa! 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 Now this, well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. <gasps> Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? <gasps> Whoa. Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Yeah. Congratulations! Yay. I know you put in a lot of hard 33 work. 33 minutes. Really we won already. So good job. Good job. Good job. We won. We won. Oh, no. No. I don't feel right about this at all. No, we won. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. What? Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay. I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. <laughs> Ow! <gasps> oh! All right, I've got a solution. <laughs> this time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? So great. What if we don't follow the line? Well, at some point, I know you're going to leave the line. You're gonna go forward. Wait, but this is. Is it different? Do you wanna follow? Yo, you wanna follow the line, huh? Oh. 
No, no, I'm down. We're living it up to the line from now on. <laughs> Just making us yeah. go to the line. Okay, I'll do the line. I'll do the line. I'll walk the company <laughs> line. <laughs> You're looking for a non-line path. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. It's, it's you see, line. the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't oh. wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Yes. Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Oh, it's going to make okay. my brain hurt. Whoa. Now, if my experience yeah. of your existence Parkour. rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. Oh. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. the music go back Aww. and look at that fern this Stanley fern? this fern will be very important <laughs> later in the story okay make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully you won't want to miss anything everyone have you remembered the fern okay bring the music back <laughs> it's so jaunty. Wait, what? Whoa. We're back at the office? No. 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 Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? We went this way, now we're back here. Is any of this ringing a bell? The line's having issues. The line. The line is being a chaos boy just like you. Yeah. Oh! <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Not again, line. How could you look, have done this to us? 234. Look at 234. After we trusted you. After everything we've been through, you... yeah. No, I can't take this anymore. And also, no, 104 no, was fired. Restart. Oh. Oh. oh! What if the real fern was the friends we made? <laughs> you know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Mm. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Yeah. Kermit, thank you for the 16 months. Soul sister, thank now, you for the two. Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. Huh? What do you want our story to be? Romance. Go wild. Oh. Use your imagination. Whatever We're it might be, circle. Stanley, I'm ready wow. for it. Right. It's not a circle anymore. <gasps> that was weird. It was like circle, 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 and weird. then it wasn't. That was weird. An epic romance. Oh, line. Oh, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. Just don't Ooh. acknowledge it. The TM. Do you notice that the TM? Because the line had a TM? Oh. And then, like, the don't yeah. acknowledge it dot TM. Oh, weird. Whoa. Ah, Whoa. A choice. We get to make a decision. Okay. From here, the story is in our control. Uh -huh. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. 
and that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse <laughs> door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? Makes me think of the Princess the Bride. Is clearly yes, then by all accounts, hey, walk in the, the door direction. on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Let's read it. Get the confusion ending. Find the confusion oh, ending hold schedule. Up, what's this? Mm. Narrator restarts mm. the game. The confusion oh. ending? You're telling me <laughs> that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? Oh that's my really God. really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? <laughs> well, what if I don't Narrator want to forget? Narrator forgets about previous restarts. My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, <laughs> wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Are there any more clues? And the time return Whoa. stopped? Whoa. Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? It's so meta. So, okay. The narrator, we've turned him rebel too. <sighs> yeah. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. <laughs> so I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... Oh! Restarted. Will, will, will the narrator have forgotten? I don't know. All of his co-workers were gone. Yeah. He did. What could it mean? He did. He did. He Stanley did. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, Wait. the narrator's having an existential crisis. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Will, will the line come back? I forgot I the know. steps. I didn't screen capture it. What do I need to do? What am I supposed to do? Should I play to the ending or not to the ending? Yet there was not a single person here I don't either. Know. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> back to the oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. He again. remembers this. He this. does. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. We Please like... Please take your time. We like the broom oh, closet. We like the broom closet. I like being it's with the... It's the best ending. <laughs> I like being with the broom. Okay. <laughs> Chat says I do love the broom closet. Terry thinks of the 11 months, and Jesse Cat thinks of the 18 months. Okay. Now, coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Last time we went down. Yeah, let's right, so all go up this time. Jazzy, thank you for the gifted sub. <laughs> love broom. <gasps> oh. This is fancy. Executive bathroom. Yes. Oh, heck yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh. Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes, if the boss has suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. chose. Extreme, Extreme bathrooms. bathrooms. Time. And it's a clock. <laughs> the outside. Of water. Can I wash my hands? I don't exist in the mirror. Yep. <laughs> wow. Th look this at is how very fancy. Look at how tall the heck and ceilings are. Is that where we came in from? That's where we came in from. What's the boss doing up here? Dang. I know. Hosting Jeez. wedding parties? Why is there oh so Oh my candle? gosh. 
What? Business strategy. That's the business <laughs> strategy. The business strategy. Kill pandas? <gasps> Brutal. Whoa. Wait, do you want to finish exploring up here? Before you go down? Maybe there's something behind his desk, too. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to import the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. What? <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. Wushio says. I can't help but notice, oh, I can't help but notice we haven't seen the very important fern. I thought you said you saw it, and I was like, where's the fern? <laughs> where's the fern? The fern? <laughs> where's the fern? All right, so we go into this elevator. Hello? Oh, we going down. God. I wonder if we could have pushed up. Oh. Whoa. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator back down? and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's it's office? It's going to be different. Well, that's a different. great question. Oh. I just can't wait to find out. It's loading. What? It's different. No, it's... no, it's the same. Oh, yeah, you're right. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. No, there's got to be something different. What a different. decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. <laughs> I love his sass. So sassy. The fern is the narrator. <laughs> All right, then we go back down. You should try pushing up just to see if it does anything, just so we know. Incredible. Okay. Oh. Now down. he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> how does he keep coming up with all of this? Uh, <laughs> this is a skilled boy. <laughs> thanks, thanks for appreciating. Surely this time Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? <laughs> <laughs> Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. No. It's time once again to go back up, up the, in elevator. the elevator. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. I don't Is it know. the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is killing me. I just like, I just like, try, I'm trying to imagine like the plot flow chart for this game. I know. Oh my gosh, it'd be so confusing to write this. To write it, yeah. I, I'm like, oh my god, it's the boss's office. The music. <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Wow. Okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! No! I need more time to process. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh, oh my God. is the music getting weird? No. no. I was shocked that it was the boss's office, honestly. You know, I... I thought it might be something different. I thought it might be something different. What if he do the code again? Yeah, I forgot what the code was. 2845? Right. I have fully come to terms with it. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Oh, two, yeah, 2845. That's what I thought. Huh. Oh, 2485. Oh, 2485? We try that. <clears throat> it could be a one time thing. <laughs> Eight. Whoa, did you hear that? Wait, do other numbers. What? But that was weird. We that said was weird. What did it say eight? <laughs> uh, okay. I'll go down. That was I'll weird. Eight. That was so strange. Of course. Going back down in the elevator. Yeah. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, yeah. sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted. <laughs> I know! We're I breaking no new grounds! To even anticipate the narrative That's genius! That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. <laughs> We're writing a new story, baby. All right, you, 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 you play. Startled me. <laughs> he didn't part. say anything because he, he knew that if he Stanley said something. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape, escape. What do you want to do, baby? Yeah, escape. Well, it's obviously trying to, it's obviously telling us to go to escape. Oh, so we're going to have to try both. Yeah, escape. Escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written yeah, it feels on it, like a trap. the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Time to sprint. There's no sprinting. There's no jumping. There's no sprinting. The end is the end is the end. The door behind the him was not end. shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this oh. point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. <gasps> Do I just fall in the hole? Yeah. Ah! Oh no! Whoa! Oh, As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he <gasps> reflected smashing. that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. I'm Perhaps his it. death was of no great yeah, loss, yeah, yeah, like yeah. plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. No, 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 no. Look to the left. <gasps> Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. Ah! As Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. There... In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Wait, what? What? We escaped! We escaped! The Stanley Parable. 
and yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office oh my as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Whoa. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see Egypt. that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Whoa. Look to the left. What, what, what's here. the label? Filing, Filing cameras. cameras. Corridor. Oh, it's, it's like a map Whoa. of the office. Whoa. Office, office layout. layout. Can you read the, read the description? The blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development, through the, though the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's like a, a museum. museum of the game. The two doors. Set of two open doors is the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parable's design. Once this room is created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it. An exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Oh my gosh. I love how like meta, like self-referencing this yeah, all this. is. Button sounds. The selection of sounds used at the game when buttons are pressed. Here, walk up to one and press it. Oh, nice. I like that one. Oh, those are good. Those are good buttons. Good buttons. Good buttons. Office computers. Solitaire. Hey, credits. Credits. Wait, does that mean we beat the game again? I think it's just, whoa. Another ending. The office. Well... Oh my oh gosh. Oh my gosh. War zone. Is this uh, Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up in a battlefield fighting aliens. The action he would become a sentient, would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it, it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which is not our <laughs> Oh my gosh. Alien base. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. This game is great. How have we not played this before? The lounge. This is massive. This is insane. Narrator emails. After the second trailer, we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we had initially planned to use these further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are the selection of those emails. Are you a rock? <laughs> Do it again. Click. How do, can I? Could you tell me what the significance of the number one 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 two eight zero zero is? Or does it just change it randomly? Just shuffle through. Well, the thing I want to know is what would you do if Stanley entered any other rooms? <laughs> right, should we keep going? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh. Apartment timer. Wow. Oh, it's counting down. In the previous version of the choice leading to the apartment ending, a timer would give you 50 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. Wow. Oh my gosh, guys, this is massive. Meeting room. One option, vent. two options, one we can option. We go into a vent. vent. First choice. Obey, disobey, lounge, a vent. What about this? I didn't know that there's a vent from the lounge. Well, we're going to have to check it out. Below the hallway, first two doors. We discussed the number of designs, but ultimately this is the simplest version that went out. Oh my gosh. So much work. <clears throat> we haven't gone to the right. We've been in there. We oh, we haven't room. been in here? Yeah. Zending levers. I don't even know what the zending is. Sounds like ending with a Z. <clears throat> zending. Oh, it's a museum of all the endings. <clears throat> oh, wow. I almost don't want to, like, read everything. Yeah, yeah, I kind of don't either. Because, like, is this almost like a spoiler? You know yeah. what I mean? Whoa. 
Wow. This is about the trailers. Okay. This is crazy. So this is like <clears throat> inside the game. There's a museum about, about the, game the game with trivia about the game and everything. Julie's here. Uh, hey, hey, Julie. Julie. Have Thanks. you played this game? Thank you for the 29-month sub. Yeah, have you played this before? This is our first time. This is just crazy. Julie's office. I oh, yeah. so this is uh, version one, version two, and then version three. This is like the final ending. <clears throat> wow. Oh, I haven't played it. Do you guys like it? Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah. Don't, don't watch too much more. Yeah. Save yourself. All right. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Wait, did we turn off? Can you off? see? Can you see how much they need one another? No. I miss the old not. narrator. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But Whoa. listen to me. What? You can oh, no. still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. <laughs> Are you gonna do it? No. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. That's so funny. It's That's so crazy. meta. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time. Quit game! What? Ooh, you guys! That's crazy. Resume the game. Oh, oh, I pressed escape and then resume and then it started loading. Oh my god. No narrator. A soft wind <gasps> blew outside and perhaps rain started. This is different. And different. if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. <laughs> oh, wow. This is crazy. Man, there's a lot of interesting stuff up at the boss's office. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's just... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Do you want to look for the vent? <laughs> Or do you want to go back bank. to boss's office and This try? was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah. Where is the vent? The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply and so personally to Stanley? Its grace? Its subtle charm? No. Stanley knew hmm. it was something deeper. Is this new dialogue? Something darker yes something deeper something darker can you click on anything yes really really worth it being here in the room a room so utterly captivating that even though all but eager to get back to business stanley took the first open door on his left all right this time i'm going to do it but i'm going to go and straight so he through detoured through the maintenance mm. section walked straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. Oh, it did actually lead you here. That's really interesting. So Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, oh, hoping he might oh, find an answer there. Ah, <gasps> ah, that's hilarious. Oh my gosh, I can't go to the broom closet. The best ending. <laughs> I missed Coming the room to a closet. staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Wait, go to the. Uh, wait, wait. Elevator? No, no, go to the desk. That's just behind you. Because earlier it said that there was like something on the boss's keyboard. Can you click it? No, it was the boss's keypad. It was oh, the keypad, keypad here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. We could go down here. This is a new, oh, new thing yeah. we haven't done, you know? You're right. Man, the planning for this game. So many endings. Oh my god. I press up. I'm going up. Ooh, we're going up. There's something above the boss's office. I 
R.I.P. Chris forever trapped in the broom closet. <laughs> the narrator singing. He's, maybe he's listened to this a lot. Three. Three. Oh. Black Rose, thanks for the 22 months. Enjoy every bit of content you make. Thank you. John Hagen, thanks for the gifted sub. Abracadabra, thank you for the 10 months. Shiny Bad Guy, thank you for the two years. This game isn't spooky like the last one, right? I, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely not. There haven't been like jump scares or anything spooky so far, but it is a little creepy. We've been going up for a long, a long time. time. Raw Patrick, thanks for the sub. Yeah, I'm getting nervous. Should I press the button? Uh oh. What? What? I'm gonna press down. It's like it just like shook in place. What? Okay, so I'm gonna press down again. Okay. This is an elevator simulator device. Weird. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. Papers, but his paintings, attention books. was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? What are the paper In on the fact, desk? This keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so paper. the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin the... number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Okay, I guess we just do the... Look at this. Again. Is this a certificate of... Pompousness. Pompousness? Yeah. Stanley just sat around Two, twiddling eight, four, his five. thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Oh. Yeah, what, what, what could the combination be? <laughs> you trying to piss off the narrator Two, again? 2845. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what could the password be? Mm. What could it be? Oh, it whispered Stanley in the elevator? I heard it both times. Weird. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened <laughs> all by itself, and Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de doo <laughs> yeah, <that's funny. laughs> Oh. They really did think of so many different I things. Know. It's, it's crazy. And even if you go, like... Even if you go down that one way where, like, it was your death, there's other endings that way, too. I know. Oh, my God. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Yeah, which one do you want to do? Escape went to the death hallway. Yeah, let's try Mind Control Facility this time. The lights oh. rose on oh, an oh, enormous yeah. room packed with television screens. We've been up screens. there before. Mm -hmm. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Uh-oh. What? Tonight! Tonight! Aha! You've made it to the bottom of the <laughs> mind control what? facility. Welcome! You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched what? in 2013, getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug <gasps> that we simply didn't catch <gasps> during development. <gasps> and you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very <laughs> superior about it. <gasps> and you're all very, very clever. Good for you. I anyway, did it! When it came time to update the game, we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours. So here you go. New content. You can call it the 
bottom of the mind control room ending if that enhances your perception of the value of these updates isn't that what you crave <laughs> new content <laughs> always more content more content more 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 I'm here to make it seem like we really covered every nook and cranny of the game with secrets and Easter eggs. Yes. How about this? We wrote a new piece of music yes. just for this Please, section. Please, thank you. Give me that you jam. won't hear yes. it anywhere else in the game. What if it's I do? It's a secret that's just for you. That's how special you oh, are. Oh, yes. We call this track, Good Job You've Made It to the Bottom <laughs> of the Mind Control <laughs> Facility. Well done. I feel accomplished. Me too. Did it. Good job. You did it. Good, Good job. job. You did it. Mm. Three, two, three, two, one. Good job. You made it to the bottom, bottom of the mind control, control facility. facility. Good job. You jumped on the catwalk. Yeah. You should have been careful. You should have been, been careful. careful. Like, I thought you know these words. Be a bug. But now, now it's an ending. ending. Yeah, now, now it's an ending. ending. I believe in you. I believe in your ability to cross this barrier. But chase your dreams. But railings don't mean anything. Good job, you did it. Good job, you did it. Times five. Good job, you did it. 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 It was five, everyone. Yeah! Yeah! We did it, baby! Yeah, baby! Yeah, we, yeah, did, we it. did it. We're special. Oh my gosh, we're back here! Now I want to do that again, but like not fall Someone off. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If Different. he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Backrooms vibes again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna get my FPS gaming and like. Perfect 180. Perfect 180. Perfect 180. Perfect 180. Oh, I don't I don't have that skill. Overcorrection. Overcorrection. Ooh, Natalie made our broccoli recipe and it's so good. Thank you. I'm glad you <laughs> like it. Squeaky Ninja, thanks for the 13 months. You know the narrator's being very quiet right when now. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, okay. he entered the door on his left. I'm gonna do it. Gonna You're do not it. gonna go back to the mind control room and follow it through? I will. That's the other side, right? No, it's this side. This is the faster way to get oh, there. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his yeah, boss's probably. office. Hoping he might come into a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Maybe the fern is following him. Yes. The fern. 2845? Two, 2845. The moment he entered his eight, manager's eight, eight, eight office, thing. Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Could he? Stanley was in such a rush to get through the storm <laughs> as quickly as yes! possible, he didn't even ah! have a single minute to just let them <laughs> yes, away to I'm talk. I'm glad I did that. that oh my god! <laughs> <isn't perfect. laughs> so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. <laughs> oh. Let's be zen, everybody. Zen time. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, <laughs> Stanley like calmly walked cut. forward into the opened passageway. Ah. Also, guys, just as a reminder, we said at the beginning, but I'll say it here again since I'm sure some new people are joining. We never played this game. It's totally blind for us. So no spoilers, please. If we get really stuck, we'll ask you guys yeah. for help. But I don't even know you, if you can get stuck in this. Can, this I don't game, know. This game is pretty well designed. Yeah. Like that startles me every time. Okay, so we're Stanley gonna go into the mind through the large facility. door that read "Mind Control Facility." And this time, you'll just go to the right. Yeah. Because I was able to walk right up here somehow, like up on this chair. Yeah. And then Don't up, do it again, up there. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. To did he have it. the strength no, to find no, no, out? No. Cameras? 
Just random desk, so. Was that camera thing a button? button. Yeah, yeah, it is. Now the monitors jump to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the like number of an employee down. in the building. The ones Stanley's that are fired. Co-workers. The like lives of so codes. many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in okay. this place where freedom meant nothing. 234. 234 is glitched. There's more fire, yeah. though. 234. There's more fired? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I think we just couldn't see them before. They're oh. right there. 601. 601. Let's see if there's anything else. No. Okay. Just those two. I loved the song. I got such joy from singing that song. That was great. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I love when we like when we got no. to our home. He refused to believe it. And it kept he changing. couldn't accept it. So cool. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Mind control, sad or Walking, offline. eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Oh, for yeah. he Destroy. would dismantle the controls once and for all. Wow, that's an ominous looking pit. Is that a code? Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> There's a butt train! Wow! Wait, wait, what are those numbers? 001? Oh, yeah. Uh, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one. zero, one, four, two, and zero, 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 one. Zero, one. Look at all your butts. Four, Texas two. butts, Michigan butts, Florida butts, Utah butts, Belgium butts. Oh my gosh, so many butts. Jamaican butts, UK butts, Dutch butts, Slovenia butts. Wow, look at all your butts go by. Wow. Okay, what's going on with this evil pool? I know. Like. Very evil. Is it just to have a, so you have an evil bridge that goes over it? Okay, so there's. That's where we came from. That's where we came from, but there's a button up there. Oh. Oh, it's, it's dated not. off. Oh, we must have come from the other elevated door to the left. To the left. There's another number up there. O oh, five. Does it say O oh, five two or six five two? I can't see. O oh, five two one, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think we came from here. Oh my gosh, can we can we parkour? Can we parkour over to to there? I want to parkour. And go through the facility power. It's kind of hard to parkour when you can't jump. I know. It's really hard. They really took that control away from us. There's a button. Five? Mind controls idle awaiting input. Should I press the five before yeah. we go in? What does that button do? Wait, is that another one? So the... They're white buttons on the wall. No, I think that these are all... No, 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 no. Here, can I? All right. Go for it. I thought I saw another white button right here. Oh. If we push them in a certain order, three. Yeah. What's the right order? One, two, three, four. But there's a five. Yeah, you're right. Are there more? There's one. There's two. There's two. Oh, one, two. One, two. 
Here, hit one first. One. One. Two. Three. Was Three was over here. Is that the one over here? Three. What if four is the one that's up there? That will make it very hard. Pull out your binoculars. Yeah. See any other big white buttons? Yeah. I mean, no. <laughs> I said, yeah. I mean, we can try these. Oh, except, well, we can't do the four. Oh, and there's yeah. no zero. There's no zero, yeah. Yet. Okay, let's go into the power facility. Okay. We know that there are some buttons out here mm -hmm. for, that do something. Oh, are these two buttons? Ooh. This is zero and four? Oh, no, on and off. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. You gonna turn it on? Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Yeah. Is that what you wanted? Control? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Stanley, <laughs> I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency uh -oh. detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set oh. to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't oh. it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. What are you it's do? your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb Zero goes five. off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you. Oh, it's about open. Me, it's open. Where we're going. Do you want to do one, two, three, four, five? I, barely I need to see what this to is. Start. What's that? It's four. You'd like to know where okay. your co workers are. Yes. yes. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good <laughs> mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. What? I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance around the corner of the story. From that door. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. Very sadistic. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. Where's five? Hate Across, see it across go. bridge. But I'm sure whatever I come on up with on the right next platform. go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I I'm enjoying it. this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds. <gasps> Time oh. doesn't grow on trees. Did our oh, thing, me, did our code open Stanley? that? Your is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, <laughs> screen to screen, uh. clicking on every little thing in this room. Incorrect. One, one, one. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Okay, what does or it say this now? door. Everything, anything, ah. something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stan? Okay, look again. That this video game it could have be been two beaten? ones in a row. One oh, sold. Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Executing button <laughs> hint. Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. 
It's just seconds ticking away to your death. We post one. You're only still ah! playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To Three. see you made humble. Three is the one around the corner this from the other door. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. No, around the corner, around the but corner, around the corner. Destroy fail it safe, first, it's a fail safe. So you can't. Oh, okay. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then... You push that one? No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your friend? I don't see failsafe. Or will you let it go? It says failsafe a little bit early. Choice. Earlier. Failsafe is 427. There's no 7. It's all the same to me. All oh, goodbye, four, four to seven. Me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we uh. fade in until the moment I say happily ever after. Oh, what? That was so intense. <clears throat> oh my gosh, you guys. That was so intense. Oh my god. Uh. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. New content! Oh, new content! New content? What does that mean, new content? New content! New content! Yeah, new content! Yeah! I, I, have, I crave that delicious, delicious new content. Ooh, also, let's make coffee after this. Okay. Content. content. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home <laughs> computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for That's consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. <laughs> this is so creepy. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Mesmerizing! Are we moving? Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... What should if we be falls? moving somewhere? Or, or, oh, <gasps> there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've it's never bring us back been to the more ready. Let's do it. Oh my God, you're right. You're right. It's going to bring us back to the beginning. Uh... Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. <gasps> it's as if them. Um... Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. Oh, we can oh. jump. Keep jumping. Wait, but you can only jump in the circle. Yeah. I don't want to run out of jumps. They're only going to, you can only do it in the circle. Wow, we oh jump. Oh my gosh, we jump in we here. We jump in. Wow. Everyone, we're doing it. We're, we're, we're playing. It is it is possible. I, I I don't want to waste them, though. Is is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has oh, to be but, something but, oh, else, right? You're about right? to leave. Okay. Is there anything in that cage? Can you go into that? Wait, look in that cage. Is it open at all? No. no. Why is it even there? Ambiance. I used all my jumps. What if I need? We had fun though. What if I need? What if I need to use them later? You can just Goodness. go Another back through elevator. the new content Stanley, door again. I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes <laughs> for exciting new content? If this is new content, 
then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Thank you for enjoying the That's new it? content. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens Doors when closed. greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. <laughs> what quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <laughs> I'm so <sighs> mad. It's my uh... fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley oh parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? I don't think we have a choice in the matter. <laughs> what do you oh, say, boy. friend? Oh, boy. Whoa. 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 This is new. I hate Mondays. <laughs> Whoa, it's a picture of the old office. It's a picture of the old start. <gasps> Whoa, Stand Vent. Look, me. look, Vent. Come over here. The vent In opened. In the vent. I want to show you something. Come on, you gotta go in the vent. It's too oh. exciting. French. What does that say? Oh, coffee, coffee nut. nut. Oh no. Oh, come on. The end is never the end. It's never the end. It's never the end. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. <gasps> Just what? our little secret. Take a look. We're in like a fortress temple. What? But with like. But with office chairs. Office chairs and a fax machine. I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. <laughs> Memory zone. You memory, see, Stanley, sweet memory. doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re release? Remember <laughs> back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Good times. <laughs> Ah. It's like it's interesting because we never played the first one, so this yeah. is all new to us. Yeah. Cut the death. Yeah. Good times. The shrine. And over here is oh where gosh. I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Yeah. Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the trapped. original Stanley Parable was. We're it trapped. was literally every game ever created. He's making it was us Skyrim. Listen to reviews. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, uh. it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. 
It's just a husk now, a lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Memory is on maintenance. Okay, maybe that'll open up later. What is that noise? That's birds. Is this another review? Here's another moving passage. Oh, come this on. time from GameSpot.com. The come standard on. parable is both a richly Let stimulating commentary on the nature We're of choice in games in. and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time yeah. collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Okay. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Oh, it's open now. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. Yes. What's this? What's down here? Oh. Back toward the memory zone. Yes. Oh no. Reviews. Oh, God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, <laughs> the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Oh, it just opened. It just opened. <laughs> yes. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. Oh. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose uh. I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Oh my gosh, this is crazy! Everything is meta! Everything is so meta. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, mm, 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 for someone who prefers non-linear games, I if these are real. gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? I mean... You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps Don't let the, the comments Stanley get to you. Isn't quite as sterling as I always What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. It's funny because I just I cut him off. there was a skip button. <laughs> it's like, you were just saying a this. skip button. <clears throat> well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive <gasps> reviews of the Stanley oh, Parable. Oh. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Ooh. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop... Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of... Ah! <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, oh, yeah. it's right at your fingertips to um, go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what one, Cookie one, Nine one will say about this. And... Yeah. 
Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping oh, through two, is becoming one. longer and longer. Oh. That last one Yeah, was, we lost an oh, hour. I want to say maybe 30, 45 <laughs> minutes. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's... Stanley! Stanley! St Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! The door is gone. You've just been frozen <sighs> there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked Anything at it from every there? angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long... <gasps> oh, Stanley. You're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. Oh, well, the plant weeks. is dead. The plant is I've dead. Been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. Oh my and you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? <laughs> Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? <clears throat> Me just oh my talking. Gosh. But it isn't Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my Ooh. words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. <laughs> uh, no, are you okay? Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about Hear everything something? we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever yeah. sat down in one place and not moved for one entire oh my year? Gosh. Let me what? describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at we all but skip regret it any time. for the longest time, Stanley. Days, mm. months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest Makes longing Makes you feel really bad for clicking. And when that feeling had begun but, uh... to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever I mean, experienced just my keep entire going. life. <laughs> What's that? He's not talking. He's not talking. The plant's completely dead. Oh my gosh, this is so dark. Oh no. This is really dark. Oh no, narrator, I should have stayed with you for forever. Are you taking, did you take over without warning? I was gonna do that. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. Oh no, I can't push it anymore. Oh no. Oh, oh it, it oh. came out again. Oh, that was but they line. didn't understand the <gasps> game was never meant to be funny. Yeah, it was it meant to back. have a point. Yeah. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave. <laughs> <laughs> the clock's on the ground. There's still no door. <laughs> Come on! There's water dripping. Erosion. Time. The end is never the end, is never the end, <gasps> is never the end, 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 is never the end. This is so crazy, you guys. Oh! Whoa! 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 It's been so long, everything is degrading. Building is collapsing. Let's skip forward even more. I just had to look. Oh. This is unsettling. Yeah, this is really unsettling. The end is never the end. end is never the end. end. Is never the end. Is never the end. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is like Stray or The Last of Us. 
You're so far into the future. Nature is coming back. Nature's taking taking it back. Oh, oh. Oh. Nature died. Yeah. Wait, can I go over there? Listen, oh, that's creepy. It's out again. This is like degrading more and more. What? So creepy. We're just like, like hurling through space now. What is that? I want the nature back. I want the narrator back. Whoa! Oh, the button fell. Whoa! Oh. What? What? Where do we go? You walk around the building, see if there's anything on the outside of it. Ah! Start walking in a direction. Yeah, I guess so. Wow. Also, I saw a little bit ago NC Pro hosting Kelvin was here. Hello. Hello. Maybe we'll be able to push it again. The button's broken. No, it's, it's not coming back. Okay, just start walking, man. Huh. <gasps> what? That what? was crazy. That was a crazy one. Okay, I, I gotta love go. that ending. I gotta go rest in a room. Oh my gosh, I have to also. I'm just gonna hang out with chat. Guys, this game is really interesting. I, I totally understand why people are like, you can't look up anything about this game because it just like messes with your head. And like, it probably will be a game I think about after I'm done playing. But first I have to prank Caitlin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend like nothing has changed, even though I'm changing something. So anyways, what was I saying? <clears throat> this is a game that like, I almost think like, would you ever go back and play it again just to unfold events in a different way to see if it progressed differently? Cause it is really confusing. Like what causes what to happen? I also almost just like want to wait here too and see like, does that clock actually move the minutes or is it just the seconds go around? How much thought did they put into this? You have a new look. What are you talking about? It's always been like this. Yeah. Did the you don't remember? <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm questioning reality today. Break. Oh my god. Oh, it was empty. Oh my god. That would have been right in my eyeballs. <laughs> it was empty. <laughs> the prank is that there's no prank. No, I'm glad for that. I'm really glad for that. I should have put um Caitlin's uh That would have taken my eye out. 
that lip that would have shot my eye out. <laughs> Cause you, that was like this close to my face. It was like right here. <sighs> <laughs> the prank is that there's no prank, Caitlin. There's never been a prank. What are you talking about? Yeah, there's never, there's never been a prank. I was just talking to Chad about how much I like this game and I was gonna get in my head. Yeah. There is, there is no chair. There is no chair. Oh my gosh. Did he do anything else? He's always the best at pranks. He's really good at pranks and I'm bad at pranks. Do it to him. Do what to him? The prank is never the prank is never the prank is never the prank. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> what, there's one other thing? Is it? Mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put his bunny ears on something else. I just want one. I just want a unicorn. I'm a unicorn. I'm very special. You and a bunny. Yeah. So how does this... down I don't know how to reset these you guys oh I'm pressing it down ah. oh there's a hype train thanks to the hype train you guys okay seriously so he's an engineer he can f reverse engineer things figure them out but I I do not have that those skills okay no I can't do the popper don't hurt yourself yeah I might are there instructions no 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 instructions I could hide. <laughs> but then that's pretty boring for you guys while I'm gone. I could turn on the cat cam. <laughs> cat cam! Let's see. Where is it? Oh, it's off. Okay, hold on. Hold on, everybody. What are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> so nuts. This is just oh my god, this is just chaos. Look, you're like disappeared behind the chair. We have the cat cam. Blah, 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 prank, by the way. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so bright. 
<laughs> can you guys hear it? I can hear it. <laughs> the fan. I don't want to open my eyes this close. Look at this. It's so bright. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I just thought you'd bring it out just for fun. Yeah. <laughs> I like just the single bunny. <laughs> I'm a unibunny. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? Sorry, um, it was great. We hung out with Juby and then I annoyed her so much that she left and then I picked her up and then you came around the corner with a lightsaber and she ran away. <laughs> you know, just a and standard. And now she's looking at us around the corner. Just, Hi, just your standard lightsaber, you know? Yeah. The, um, <laughs> the, the, the Destroyer 5000. That makes me nervous holding it over the monitors. Guys, look at how massive this thing is. Have you guys seen? <laughs> just a second. Here, I just want you guys to. You gonna turn it on full power? <laughs> God, it's so, it's so, so ridiculous. <laughs> it's so blinding. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Yeah, you're gonna get demonetized. Thick saver. <laughs> That's what she said. Demonetized. <laughs> okay, you know, I I thought of a really hilarious prank. Yeah. What if um, what if I uh, what if I just left? <laughs> <laughs> you just left and never came back. What if I just like, what if I just like got my keys somehow earlier and I just like left, <laughs> and then you were just like chatting here with chat. Honestly. And like you're you're just like, hello. <laughs> like, like, I just wonder what do you do? I don't know. <laughs> you'd be you'd probably get worried. worried. I, I, I'm, I'm worried that you were worried. It'd yeah. be a hilarious prank, though. Yeah, I'd be worried. Like, did you slip and fall? I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. Oh How amusing God. they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Hmm. Oh, my that God. That would be it. Ooh, new, new content. Well. Okay. We gotta do it. We gotta do it again, oh, Nunu. Good. You noticed my sign. We did. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Nunu content that looks the same. <laughs> you just going away would be a very Stanley Parable style prank. It would be. Just it laugh. would be. Okay, so we just skipped that scene again since we've seen it. Yeah. Back into the new content elevator. You yeah. see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I well, say look, we take so it fast. one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Oh. Oh. The end is never yeah, the, the end, end. Yes, again. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Taste the sequel. New and tasty. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Wait. Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? Did you see? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. They're back. back. Two, two doors. doors. New content is out, but part two is in. The color red. Huh? <laughs> 
Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. <laughs> I think about Barker. that if I can Me. loosely organize yeah. a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. I'm gonna go back there. New features, new content, yeah. Wow. Can't wait for Stanley Parable 2. Wow. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new merch. Features. Merch. Where's the merch? Oh my gosh. I'm sure that QR code goes to actual merch. The end is never the end again. I saw the new content. <laughs> the yellow line. Oh yeah. But it's like but two. two. It's like decent merch, oh, honestly. I know. It kind of is. There's the big statue of Stanley. In oh the my gosh. Enjoy. Press the button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? Too big, too and of small. course, the first right. and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my... Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to Jim. imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim. Falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim. And as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Jim. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. I, I wasn't finished it. setting up the backstory. If you don't properly roleplay as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Otherwise, it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Okay, we're doing it again. And this time, let me finish first. <clears throat> <clears throat> no, now, don't allow start over. yourself to become Jim. Jim. All right, fine, whatever. It's just a meaningless button that says Jim. Are you happy now? Get yeah. out of here. I'm done with this button. Why don't you go humiliate me in front of a different feature that I worked very hard on? <laughs> it no is longer interesting. Kevin, we are Jim. Science adjacent. Maybe Jim I'll and only Jim. let people named Jim play the Stanley Parable too. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Settings world champion, infinite hole, free achievement. New and easy free achievement, here. That's new. The There's exit's a, over here. The, uh, let's go through the free, the free achievement door. I mean, free achievement. A free achievement. Hold the lever. Receive your free achievement. No more step. It just works. Sounds Get great. yours now. Now, oh. here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to the... Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. Hmm. This is so meta. Please pull me. Please pull me. Oh my god. Disappointed. Gosh. I was promised a free achievement. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. <gasps> oh, I thought I thought oh my gosh, I, I, I thought I found, found a secret area. Yeah, me too. You know how I love some secret I know. areas. It just works. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Oh, what's in there? No screenshots. Please, no screenshots. 
Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday it is. <laughs> Everyone's screenshot of 12 for screenshot. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving yeah, on. Yeah, should you screenshot in there? Come now. You've already made your choice. It's true that you chose badly, but we all have to move on from our mistakes. <gasps> ha! Screenshot saved. <laughs> we did it. Rupt, thank you for the 23 month sub. RHK, thank you for the gifted sub. And Tig, thank you for the gifted sub. We're back here. An infinite hole. It won't end. I wish we could run a little faster. It's interesting. What do you enjoy more, the like repeating puzzles or like the meta of the two? I like both. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's oh. never been done before in a video game. This is in fact a hole that you can fall down forever. Makes That's me think right. of portal. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Let's go in the hole, baby! Goodbye. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. It's gonna not break. Or it's gonna not work. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum. It's not infinite. Things. It's not infinite. Oh. The hole is getting smaller, oh, though. Smaller. Oh, okay, Stanley, what's gonna happen? I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the <gasps> yeah, infinite yeah. nature of the hole. Okay, okay, don't is press it, it don't press it, don't press it. To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. We have to see what I happens. don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me Cigarette up, Stanley. Pipes. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look... I think the Nearby. issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? <laughs> I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. Just the <sighs> two of us. Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Mm -hmm. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite <laughs> if that works for you then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on i'll just be up here when you're ready maybe we'll, we want to hang out in the hole yeah i mean yeah it's a great we hole. got our cigarettes fenris sulfur thank you for the two years and oswald thank you for the 22 months Okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay. Great. Now, ah. I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Oh, for heaven. <laughs> you see, I was right. The I'm problem is you. you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Shorter. Different holes seem even shorter to you, it this time. It did. I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, I agree. admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. 
Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Oh gosh, how could I have guessed? Of You're course. back in the hole. Back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where... Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep. I agree. Even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. Shame <laughs> of How is this still appealing to you? <laughs> I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? <laughs> you just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. <laughs> Narrator needs a refund hmm. for that all. It's not working. Um, teleport button not working? You We're sure? If only we could jump. Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. Still nothing. Well, I suppose... Uh, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. Give us jump. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole. No. And now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. No. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole. Uh. I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. No. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest no. of the day. No. Don't leave us like no. we left you no. earlier. No. 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 I don't want to. Come on. Let us out. I'm scared. It is an infinity hole. We'll be here for infinity. Something's happening. Something's happening. Wait, are we getting lower? <gasps> We're getting lower. Oh. We're going. The hole. The hole. The hole accepts us. Yes. Infinity hole. Infinity hole. <laughs> Wee. Jay, change yourself. Here, here. Change yourself. Okay, let's do it. We are robot. What are pants? We're pants? Is that pants? Oh my god. Cartoon Stanley. My head's stronger. Now you're no. Oh my gosh. Using up the space of mine. This is progressively more and more wild. Yeah. Oh, look at look at him. Look Stanley. at him. We're muscly. Stanley. 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 Oh good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off. 
drifting away into dreamland. <laughs> but we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So oh how God. about if I just <gasps> pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused oh on the Oh my gosh. Hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years Is the rest of the game hole, spent? And I'm looking forward to all of them. In this hole. Stay alert, Stanley. In our dreams. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Toodle pip. I just, I just wonder, like, if we hadn't have kept on hopping in the hole, we wouldn't have had, we wouldn't have had that trippy sequence. Yeah. We would have, like, missed out on game. I know. Right? You, it really makes you just want to do everything. What? What? Okay. okay, we're back at the beginning okay. of... Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Whoa. What? The reassurance bucket. That sounds new. We haven't checked out that yet. Wait, was it... Wait, you can go back to the hole and skip the hole and go to the door past the hole. We never did that. Let's do that. Fine. It ended. <laughs> Mostly infinite hole. Yes. Honest marketing now. Time depth. Hole like infinity. It just keeps going. Infinite hole chart. <laughs> Educational use only. Wait, did they close it? They closed our hole. We oh, don't no. have our hole anymore. We'll never know what was beyond the hole. What's the bucket? Let's check out the bucket. What was it called? Like the, the jump oh, circle? Oh, jump circle. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first oh, no. time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. I know we shouldn't have used them up. Bucket. Reassurance. Wait, where bucket. am I going? I don't know. I don't know either. Settings world champion. Well, it's locked. Whoa. It, like, it made the game glitchy. That's new. Whoa. Wait. How many? Go through, go through. Oh, look. The button that says Jim. <laughs> That's Jim. I thought you were about to fall. Oh. Oh, it just leads down here. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Let's do the bucket. Let's see what the bucket's like. Reassurance bucket. Mostly infinite hole. <laughs> I love how things change. I know. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in <laughs> those who played it. <laughs> well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. Wow. Give us that bucket. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your oh, heart right. is true. I want the bucket. As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. Give and to me be the honest, bucket. It's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Get Can you bucket. imagine what a pain in the ass <laughs> that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Yes. yes. <laughs> I have a bucket. It's not Can really you feel evil. it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Thank you. I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Oh, thank you. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Great bucket. Can you imagine going to a cosplay with just a bucket? 
<laughs> and like that's like that, that's the it. cosplay. I mean, you'd have to be dressed up like Stanley. Maybe. Yeah, what if what if like you that. just what if you just bring your bucket? No, no, no. You have to you have to be Stanley or it's not. Okay. But that's still pretty vague. You know, it's just like white shirt. Does anyone slacks. give out awards for most enjoyable <laughs> bucket in a video game? <laughs> that really should be an award if it isn't already. Have we are there any features we haven't checked out yet? I don't know. Please no screenshots. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Read the signs. Is there any? Were there anything on those? Um... Exit. Oh, exit. Okay. Jump circle. This map. Free achievement. Merch. Settings for old camera. Epilogue. Question. Exit. Yeah. Okay. Now, now we have our bucket. Yeah, we got the bucket. Wait, hello. Oh, buckets over here. Or exits over here. Oh. Exit. Alrighty. Well, that was a great visit. Wow. Great visit to this oh wonderful goodness. museum. Um, Stanley, this is fairly awkward. <gasps> I, I hate to do this, but before you leave, you really should go to the collectibles exhibit. You oh. see, there is a surprise I was going to spring on you later, and it involves the collectibles. And I really do hate to break the illusion, but it's important that you go see the collectibles, okay? All right, I'll get out of your hair now. A9. Uh, lower level? You are here. Collectibles. I think we're on the lower level. Collectibles. <laughs> oh, you have to go up here or something like that. Collectibles. Can you find them? Can you find them? Mm. Can you find them? Whoa. Whoa. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. Oh. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your oh, unremarkable life. Oh, creepy. Look at the bodies. Give me that Stanley collectible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Can you find them? Can you find them? Can I go back? No. Weird. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Really takes away the enjoyment. Yeah. <laughs> At least we have our bucket. Yeah, we got our bucket still. As long as we have our bucket, I'm feeling good. I am not questioning reality. Oh, what? Briefcase. Not questioning reality. I'm doing good. Feeling good. Whoa, I like that, that art. It is crazy looking, yeah. Gotta take a screenshot. Hello? Thank you. Yeah. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. I can feel it There's in my bucket. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here mm -hmm. it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Oh. Oh. That um, part. Well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... The whole okay, the achievement, mind. the jumping, Hold the collectibles? On. let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good The fern? This. Was the fern in go. there? Version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? Oh, the fern on the this right. This isn't a coherent isn't video game at all. It's a lot of gags. Yeah. And I do very much enjoy oh, no, creating it's not. gags, it's not the but they don't add up to anything. It's just in the same planter. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the good first eye, game. Though. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, 
maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it, tastefully, of course, with respect, with care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could, but it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is great. I mean, I like the background thing that's playing right there. Yeah, it is a, a good. It is. It, it looks different. Jump. There's jump. Interact E. Oh. Auto walk. We should try pressing E. Begin the game. Hey, Stanley Parable Two. It's such a red font. It's color red. This is red. the story of a man named Stanley. Is it going to be the same, or will there Stanley be? Stanley worked for a balloons, company balloons, outfit balloons, building balloons. where he was employee number four two seven. To get well sometime. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room four two seven, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him same what here. buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did what? every day I saw, I saw every month the of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. What? And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Stanley Farrell Something too. that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. The color red was He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all Those his years really at the company it. had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, what if we he got up, up from his desk jumps? and stepped out of his office. What if, what, what if we could have jumped right now? All of I his co-workers so. were gone. What could it mean? Technically, the jump Stanley button decided was to go in to the, the last game, room. too. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. In one. For the moments where we bucket, did jump. Bucket, 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 Stanley bucket. picked up the bucket. Oh. I feel better now. Thank goodness we have our bucket. Yeah. And oh that's where God. I store my experience. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. All right, I'm going to do it. You're going to do it? Because I think it's like the same, right? I don't Just, know. I have a bucket now. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. <laughs> yeah! Broom closet! Oh, can you feel it? Yes. The broom closet. It wants the bucket. No. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. <gasps> I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet no, is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. No. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. It's our this bucket. is your companion and lifelong friend. It's my bucket. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting <gasps> friends? 
that your relationship is purely superficial and convenient, that your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Yeah. Go yeah. through each of them point by point. I thought we were friends, Share your journal closet. entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. I feel really strongly uh, about this bucket. And it's my bucket. <laughs> you do can make me feel otherwise and don't underestimate. Okay. I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Now it's settled. Uh, no more debate, no more discussion. Yeah. Take a hike, broom closet, Heck with all yeah. your meandering philosophical diatribes yeah. about the nature of cleaning supplies yeah. and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. Yeah. <laughs> we now have a sticker on it! It yeah. says it's oh, ours. I've got a second coming to a stand. Oh, yes. Stanley oh, on the bucket no, walk no, upstairs no. to the went too fast. Office. Okay, I uh, got. I could... still got the sticker. See, this is why you can't go too fast when it's new dialogue. I didn't. I didn't know. Whoa! Oh, <gasps> collectible. collectible! You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure I of a feel job it. well done. You can't buy that sort of Just happiness, like normal Stanley. work. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. You found it. New contact. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left oh, no, his not post this. during work hours. Oh, this is such a long one. That. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? Oh no. All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. It's such and a then, long one. Something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket uh, on his arms. Oh, am I crazy? You're a cat. He asked the bucket. Oh, the, the bucket. bucket returned yeah, his gaze, it's you. but said nothing at all. And that's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom yeah, for me in difficult times such as these. Mm. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar <gasps> reassurance and comfort. <gasps> oh no. And that's when Stanley realized this isn't my bucket. <gasps> it's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone no. else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's no. bucket? This is all terribly wrong. No, it's Surely no oh, good wait, wait, wait. This. Who knows what sorts of bizarre no, hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence it just of his went bucket. Away. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. <gasps> oh, gracious, he exclaimed. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Okay. Stanley, Stanley, it's me, the bucket. Could it Why? truly be? He rushed forward from room to room, passing <gasps> by buckets. one bucket after the next. Ah! None of them were his. None of them were his special bucket. No. Come to me, Stanley. Find me. Bucket. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. It was incredibly painful. <laughs> Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> the bucket was inside of him the whole I can't time. Believe it was it incredibly wasn't comfortable. You. This is a story of a woman named Mariella. I can't believe it was like a new version of that scene. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, oh. and walked to her place of work. She has a bucket now! But on this she particular has a day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled oh. through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no, had bucket. no bucket! Of course, he'd gone mad. 
ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game, the it could all have been prevented them. if only he'd taken his bucket <laughs> with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. Oh. How cruel the world can be, Marietta thought. And she hugged her own bucket even <laughs> But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would the provide bucket. absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Yes, and yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. <laughs> and she backflipped all the way to work. <laughs> I love the subtle changes oh in dialogue, God. you know? Wait, I gotta go get something. I just wanna make sure I don't... Okay. Uh, oh. oh, I won't do anything. Yeah, don't do anything. I won't do anything. I'll be right back. I really hope she is going to get a comfort bucket. Cause I, get two of them. I want. I asked her to get two of them because I want two. I want a bucket too. I want a comfort bucket. The world. Oh my gosh, my ears. How embarrassing. What if I ran and got a bucket? Oh my gosh, I hope she gets a bucket. I'm like, yes! Did you get two? Yes! 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 Yes, she got it. I don't want to go mad. I need a bucket. I need a bucket. Actual buckets, guys. Actual buckets. Soon we shall be reunited with our buckets and then this never ending of nightmare uh, will we'll, we'll end. <laughs> I know what I want for my comfort bucket. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can get back to playing now. Okay. Okay, so this is our, our desk and everything, but it's a different room out here. Wait, chat, does everyone have a bucket? Did you guys get buckets? Oh. gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Is that our bucket? What if we don't grab it? I'm gonna grab Stanley it. lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort mm. rushed over him. Yes. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him <laughs> that the employee lounge was simply the place to yeah. be. Bucket. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? You can yes, crouch. Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Ah. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Bucketless item number one. Get a bucket. Not a bucket, but a plush tube. I'll be grabbing a bucket full of coffee. <gasps> Don't have a bucket, but I have a mug. I Truly, think that's close being enough. being here with the bucket was a grand adventure. Mugs count. Stanley reflected on all they'd <laughs> been through together. First, walking through the door on the right. Then walking to the lounge. Then arriving at the lounge. What a thrilling journey the bucket had inspired. Wow. Wow. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Like, how many secret things do we want to do? I don't know. Well, it's also like, you don't know if following the path is right or not following the path is right. You know what I mean? <laughs> do not lie if you're lying right now. Stop. <laughs> no, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. <gasps> go to the cargo lift. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my <What>? God. <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> Another Gosh, miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really <gasps> must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley stand. figs. Um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. What do we do from here? Jump. 
But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. Wow. Wow. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Where's my bucket? Stanley hoped that yeah, he would is. one day uh. see weather. The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Property of Stanley, heck yeah, that's it's right. It's our bucket. Whoa. <gasps> Bottom oh. text. Whoa, trust the completionist instinct. Why wouldn't they just tell us something will happen? This investigation, this room, they feel pointless, TBH. What? Oh, my bucket. Your bucket! Here, spare bucket. Okay. <laughs> Do you want me to play for a little bit so you have oh hands for your... Oh, some are both red and blue. Whoa, whoa. Gotta collect them all. So there's... We have a checklist now. We have a checklist. Places to search. Somewhere both Nearby red a fireplace, a private but smelly place. For an important person, I know where that is. I also know where the fireplace is. Wait, what's the smelly? The fireplace is the boss's room. A large room, lots of boxes. Oh, we did that. This is where stairs, the six of them stairs. are. This is where oh, the yeah. six of them Somewhere are. Somewhere both red and blue near a fireplace and the, the bathroom. Okay. Okay, I know where that, I know where one is. Is Let's this some see. kind of game? There must be a point to this. There will be a reward for finding them all. <gasps> uh, I want them so much. Lies, who are you? Figlies. Good luck. It's all about figlies now. Source of levitation. Oh my God. Maybe we are the collectibles. Oh, okay. Oh Let's get the bathroom one. Fireplace, red and blue. Fireplace, I think, is the boss's office. There's a fireplace there. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, no stickers. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Oh, yes. okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. I like Figlies. What, do you think, Stanley? Figlies. what name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense Figlies of happiness sounds like a snack. that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I I'm sure it. it will come to me. <gasps> oh, that's the same. Yeah, that's the same. Red and blue. Red and well, blue. Well, first fireplace. There's a fireplace in his office. I was like, want to explore everything. There's nothing in here. No, that's the infinity. Will he say something new though? Did he ever say anything in here? He never said anything in here. He just sang the music. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah go to the big office. I think there's a fireplace. Yeah, fireplace. Stepping into his manager's oh, office, on. Stanley was once again stunned Maybe you have to, do the, to discover the code. Indication the fireplace opens up. Life. The fireplace wall. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. I have a bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. Two eight four five. It would be with him always the bucket would and he knew it the two of them were inseparable at this point Hi. stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad 
was 2845. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Yeah. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Come on. I thought there would be another figurine. Oh, oh. yeah, there he is! Yes. You're getting close, oh, Stanley. Oh, yeah. You've nearly so the next one is the red and blue room. And red and blue. Very soon, you'll collect the last one, and then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be... Yes! We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now we have them all. And we have buckets. You can't go back to when you had yes. no Figler and Lorenes. None of us can. Figler and Lorenes. Figler and Lorenes. Oh my god. All right, guys. I'm I have my comfort forward. bucket. What if you didn't pick up the bucket? I don't know. I don't know. It would be other things. They'd probably be saying, don't you wish the you had a bucket right downward, now? Plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. My bucket. My bucket. A room that's red. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Is there red and blue this way? I don't remember red and blue being either we, we way. We fell down and we like went into And then into there was like the thing where you get squished. Wait, have you actually collected five of them? Yes. Yeah. We'll go down here just for the sake Although of completion. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. <gasps> what, the what if the bucket stops the crusher? The <gasps> door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, I'm Stanley brave. and the bucket were knowingly yeah, walking a forward bucket. into a very painful death for <laughs> each of them. Comfort bucket. Well. There's the crusher. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned oh. out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying oh. a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. And then we drop down. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end, as it was crushed violently The bucket's to life. Death. Yeah, because there's this, remember? Like, I don't... It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. Oh, this is... It's true that all buckets uh. are radiant in their own way, but this, this is the white museum. museum of the rest. It was a glorious it's a bucket. bucket to it's behold. The bucket. the bucket. The bucket. It looks just like my bucket. The bucket welcomes you to this grand exhibit. Oh my gosh. This is the museum all about the bucket. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket oh my God. like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket <gasps> is far more That's noble like many than Stanley than will ever be in his short life? Oh my God, it's a bucket museum! Oh my gosh, the bucket's going up into the heavens. <gasps> the heavenly bucket. Is it going up? My daughter and I have been entranced by this for the past 112 minutes, us too. Is it going up more or is it sitting there? It might there? just be hanging there. 
a bucket with two handles. <sighs> Such a design has never been created in real life, having been even too dangerous and recklessly experimental. Every year, dozens are put to death just, just for attempting it. What about a bucket with no handle? Because that's what we've got. Inferno bucket. Wow, a different type of bucket. Medieval era. No, no one, one can, can control, control the bucket. bucket. Stress bucket, an analogy. <laughs> oh, so our bucket needs a faucet to relieve our stress. Yeah, yeah. This is great. It's like the museum, but different. <laughs> the first illustration known of a bucket. Cave drawing. No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. The hanging bucket. This piece symbolizes the necessary relationship between bucket and humanity. However clear our grasp of the bucket may be, there's yet more that is always out of reach. This distance inevitably is for our own good. Oh, we gonna fall. Oh yeah. All right, but what if we had to jump? Oh, I got it! You got the bucket? I floated there right out. There is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bu bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements. If only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. What? Are we going to play as a bucket this time? Carrying oh a God. Stanley? <gasps> what if we're a bucket? <laughs> We'd never know. Maybe we are a bucket. We maybe, can't maybe, see our legs. Maybe we've been the bucket the whole time. We could be a bucket. Oh my god. Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. The end is never the end. Warmth spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket in his arms again, he was home. What pass should we do this Stanley time? Stanley clutched the bucket mind tightly control? to his chest. Yeah, and I think mind control. The door on his left. We're only missing one Stan Lorene. I know, I don't know what the blue and red room is. Some are both red and blue. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet, simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, wait, wait. you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, no stickers. Oh. Never mind. Oh my gosh. So I've already gone Mental down, staircase. right? Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to yeah. the boss's office. Yeah. Oh, I didn't I didn't do the other down though. Oh my gosh, just in case. Just in case. I need oh, is this red and blue? Oh, oh. oh. You did do no, that. No, we already did that. Yeah. We already did that. We already did that. Yeah, you don't want to get stuck in that loop no, again. No, 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 no. Stepping into his manager's Two, eight, office, five, Stanley four. was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, oh, two, eight, four, Stanley five. may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Yeah. Was the bucket guiding him? Yeah, bucket! Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. He's bucket! Okay, bag it. Mm. All right, Kate, thank you for the gift of sub. Tater Ooh. tots, thanks for the seven months. All right, so we've done most of the different Stanley paths. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large straight. door yeah. that read Mind Control Facility. The 
lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place error? hold? Stanley and the, the bucket both wondered to themselves. I think that happened, oh, last, that happened time. last time. What if we fell down with the bucket again? <laughs> it's just a song, but with a bucket. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst that into one looks tears different right there. as Stanley cradled oh, it gently, right. reassuring it that five, everything two, would be eight. fine. What is our I number I want to know again? what these mean, 427. Four. I want to try to find 427 on here. It's normal last time. 427, here we go. I wonder if it shows us. Oh, it shows our office. Yeah, it's our office. It's our office. I recognize our office. Find control. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Ah. Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? Oh my gosh. What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Feeble mind? No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. No! His own life in someone else's control? No. Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter his one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. But here was the proof, This is red and blue, kind the of. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. We'll they hu- Oh yeah, because you did on last yeah. time. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. <laughs> Both of them Golf. wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. Weird. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support. And... Uh-oh. What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? I can throw you over. Silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. No. No. Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket, <gasps> needed the soothing warmth of the bucket. Oh my to god. Not to part with the bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. So if we Stanley don't... realized he would never again leave this very room. If we but do this least, without the bucket, can we get out? At least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. When as long as I bucket. have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? What if he loses his bucket? Gold. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Oh my god. What? Also, K Manly, thank you for the 42 month sub. Wow, Isn't so that long. crazy? Closer to four years. What? Thank you, K Manly. That was so awesome. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? <gasps> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Should we try to go to some of those weird, like the weird room with the glitch 234? Stanley picked up the bucket Let's and see if we smiled. See it. 
He'd never be alone again. Not two thirty-four. Two thirty-four. Not with the bucket around. We'll just see if we happen to see the it. The new content is gone. Oh, it was there. Yeah, I think so. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. I want to see if and I can find this the was uh, red right and blue room. room. Yeah. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. It is. And yeah. here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Nope. So, because I went no, this way, said the bucket. I Don't didn't go, go to this. the meeting room. Go mm. somewhere else. The car oh, yeah, lift. Right. Yes, go there. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. I die, though. It should have alarmed That's him, way. of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. Oh, he was firmly too. convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. I wonder what's there. I don't know. We'll try. We'll try we can try it after this. Oh my god. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Oh, there's a now telephone. Now pick up the phone, said. Whoa, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? <gasps> you unplugged it? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? <gasps> Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking <sighs> bucket. Uh, can't you see? Uh, oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Hmm, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it, but there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully... Oh, wait, yes, there is. Um, it's sitting right here. Let's take a look. Come on, man. What? He... What is comedic timing? What? What is comedic timing? How does it work? How long should what? it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? And more importantly, can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Teach us. Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is... Yes. Yes. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. <laughs> to begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, name. provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the five. joke will laugh, and then spell out your name a second time. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds, and no less than 13 and a half, pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. <laughs> when the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over That's by right. declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. <laughs> Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with, with the, the funny. funny now. I'm Dunny with the funny. I'm Dunny with the funny, say yeah. Good. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience hard on how wrapped data. they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. Well, what An you effective guys think? survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. <laughs> Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, 
where each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the 12-legged invader who threaten our very existence and to very luckily die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. All of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause, just as our children must do after us and their children after them. Godspeed and may Earth reign supreme. Hey, so there goodness, are aliens this after video us. is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the Narrators fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again so I can try what? telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. Can you what? Click on the phone? What? What? It's gonna make you walk backwards? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This is crazy! I can feel it. This time, I'm really going to nail the delivery. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we had the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now? Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke. The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. What? We're going backwards. Yeah, we're going backwards. It feels weird. This is so weird. We go back. Should, should I do the same path? Is that what it wants me to I do? I think so. Dieterbeck, thank you for the 21 months. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. What's you gotta do the right one. One the... of the one of the stickers is gone. <gasps> oh no. Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. Uh, we're back at the phone already. Oh, we just through it. No, no, no. What's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. It's still unplugged. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit, which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors it room. It doesn't. What an egregious mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of King of Comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke-telling Well, I think... I think I need to go back and rewatch that instructional video again. No. Yes, surely that will help me improve my... Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the Bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Which one are you going to do? Should I do the right again? Yeah, try it again. I just want to see if it changes. What? Uh, we're back at the phone already. Is it again? No, no. What? What? Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley okay, and the bucket go came to a set I of guess. two open or we doors, keep doing right they entered the door until the it left. starts repeating. Yeah, it hasn't repeated yet. It hasn't repeated. You push the limits. Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. Okay, now that was yeah, a repeat. Yeah, that was a repeat. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll okay. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. Did you not even look at the instructional video? I think this is all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely down and over. It's oh all God. your fault, Stanley. I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? Back to the tips. Whoa. 
Stanley, you love the bucket so much, it's like you... Um, it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in pale. comparison. Whoa, do yes. we beat it? Let, well, let me try that again, Stanley. Crows, crows, crows. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No? Still not? It, is it the delivery? Pale Wait. with shame. No, pale let it go. Shame. Let it go all the pale. way. What's another word to describe The game could a still be trolling us. Stanley, this bucket is so mental. I think I saw it playing guitar. No. No, 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 no. We're getting away from making fun of Stanley's Yeah, I feel like this isn't real. The whole point of this. I'm just... I'm no good at these jokes. I need more instructional videos. That's exactly what it is. That's what will make me the king of comedy again. More instructional videos. Let's see. Let's see. It still loads more content. Oh my gosh. Do you think this is going to be a two part stream? How love? long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. This might Minutes, be two parts. Days? Centuries? Did We've been live for three and a half hours. My senses were I want to try one last thing. He made a note okay. to be more careful with time from now on. I left my bucket. I abandoned the bucket. I abandoned it. When Stanley <gasps> came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm going to see if I can escape. I love my bucket. I know that they, they, they'll, they'll never, they'll never let me leave without my bucket. This is closed to me again. So it's playing the way Coming that it plays when I don't have the bucket. To his boss's office. The bucket right. really does add additional content because it yeah. changes the dialogue. It does. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley yeah. pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Whoa, Whoa, that was interesting. Blah, blah, blah. Whoa. Okay, chat is definitely saying we have another stream worth. Two people have said that. Okay, I just want to do one one last thing. <clears throat> okay. Is, is the net... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. It said just loading, 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 loading. It, it, it didn't say the, oh. end, the, the end, the end, the end. What? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Y'all haven't seen like 50% of the base game yet? <gasps> what? Oh my God. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television Not screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? What? This is insane. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co look, look in the top. The lives There's of so before, many individuals one? reduced to There's images two on the screen. That don't and have Stanley, numbers. One of them eternally okay, monitored yeah, in look, this place. Where Two blank ones. Whoa. And then a blank, some more blank down here. I feel like everything is code. What does it mean? What does it mean? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? I like how was this, this employee the only is reason he was happy with cabinet. his boring job? Nah. That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the I'm operation. I'm going to turn it off. Controls okay. labeled Without my bucket, I'm going to get out of here. Sad. Okay, I did what they said. I left my walking, bucket. Eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. I did it. The end is never the end is never the end is never the end. <laughs> Chat has a good point. Jedi Jen Ru, thank you for the 23 months, savage. Thank you. Blackness. 
and a rising chill of uncertainty. If only we had our buckets. Was it over? Yes. He had won. I won. He had I defeated did it. the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Yes. Freedom was mere moments away. Yes. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where no, had his co-workers gone? How had he here. been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? No, I need to but get as here. sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized yes. none of this mattered to him. For it see. was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. So wise. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, yes. but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Yes. Whatever life he lives, oh. it will be his. And that was all he needed to but know. But it is just a bucket out there. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Oh, yes. I did. Stanley felt the cool breeze <sighs> upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. I don't the deserve immense this possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. And then Stanley woke up in his office. Beat the game! We beat it. Loading. Oh no. <laughs> no, that's it. That's it. We gotta call it. We gotta call it, guys. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be too <laughs> This strange. is great. This is so great. Oh, I, man. I, I, I can't, I can't. This, 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 this is a brain breaking game. Yeah, my, my brain needs a break. Yes, <laughs> but I enjoyed the heck out of this. And I hope you guys did too.